a what the Kaplman happy Mardi Gras fat Tuesday everybody this is FGFM recording from stately FGFM Manor in the beautiful second ward I'd like to thank my good friends at Uptown Update for alerting me to the fact that uh, Molly Phelan or do you say Phelan and James what the Kaplman we're going to be on CLTV tonight I'm sure we're going to learn a lot. Let's put on the uh, audio here. Here we go. To get that seat for the first time, Molly, welcome to Politics Tonight. Thank you very much. And joining us over at Tribune Tower, James Kappelman. Uh, he actually almost unseated Alderman Schiller four years ago. He's back, and you guys, again, uh, James, welcome to the show tonight. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. Amazingly, you guys had the exact same number of votes. I don't know what the yep. statistics are. Kappelman by say, two. Uh, you know, uh, the odds of that happening, but, it, but an amazing feat. It's got to be one in a million. To you and, and basically just say, you're a lawyer. Your resume is very sort of business oriented. James, a bit different. I'm going to come to that. Molly, take a moment and introduce yourselves because you guys were among 11 candidates. It's time to hear from the two of you. Give us your views for the ward, Molly. Sure. You know, uh, my background, I have a background in real estate. I have a ba background in business development. I have a background in uh, the law, crime prevention, um, as well mm. as business development. Um, when I'm out talking to voters, there are two major issues that people are talking about, and it's crime and it's business development. Both of those issues line up with my background, and I've received two very key endorsements in regards to both of those issues. I've received the Fraternal Order of Police endorsement for my crime prevention plan, which, uh, you know, the key element of it focuses in on my background, working with, this, working with Chicago in their Drug and Gang Housing Division going after slumlords who have allowed drug dealers and gangbangers to operate out of their properties. And then in terms of business development, I've also received the Chicago uh Chicago um, Chamber, Chamber of Commerce, Commerce endorsement. Yeah. All right, now I'm going to talk to you about those, and we're going to come back. James, let me visit with you for a moment. Uh, your background is different. You are a social worker uh, and also a neighborhood leader. Very different. There's not, we're not hearing yeah. the lawyerly talk there and all of that. So, you know, sometimes people get comfortable with a lawyer in the seat. Talk to me about the value of your background for the work. Well, I'm a former public school teacher, and now I'm a social worker in healthcare. But uh, what really prepared me for this job is that I've been a community activist in this neighborhood for over a decade. I've worked uh, with uh, State Senator Heather Staines and State Representative Greg Harris and our two police commanders on numerous targeted task forces to uh, address uh, issues related to public safety. Many, many accomplishments. Uh, 920 West Lakeside is a, a high-rise building that uh, was beset with a lot of uh, drug trafficking and violence. And the work I did with the building manager and along with the police commander really helped clean that up. The, the residents feel like it's a much safer place, and the, and the residents around the neighborhood also appreciate it as well. All right, and uh, let me talk to both of you about the, uh, the notion of safety. And actually, James, I'm going to start with you on this question because, first of all, Molly said it. She's right. She did receive, she got the endorsement of the FOP, the Fraternal Order of Police, along with the Chamber of Commerce. Um, I'm sure that that's not good news for you uh, when it comes to fighting <laughs> crime. It's critical in your ward, those issues. So, you know, how do you, and I know you've got your own uh, uh, endorsements. I'm going to talk about those as well with her. But that being said, um, I'm sure you're not happy about not getting the police endorsement. That's what I thought. I, I want endorsements from all those who want true reform in the city of Chicago. And, and, and that's, that's what I'm really after. Uh, the, uh, the police commanders, uh, Kathy Bomer and Lucy Moy, have worked a lot with me, uh, so have our state elected leaders. They know the work. They, they ask me to work with them on these task forces because they know I collaborate well and I have the knowledge to get the job done. All right, let me come over to you, Molly, and, and say, look, James also ha is enjoying the endorsements of several people. He mentioned several of the legislators, Senator Heather Staines, Carol Ronan, Deborah Mel, Marianne Smith, uh, the gay lesbian. Congress, Congress, Congresswoman Jan Chikowsky today. Oh, all right, so today Jan Chikowsky. So let me Progressive. ask you, once again, police, strong endorsement, but he's also got a lot of folks behind him as well. What's your thought? Well, um, you know, uh, the, those endorsements uh, that he's received have been endorsements that he's actually um, given contributions to as well, and have, he's had relationships. Actually, that's not true. It, well, he's had relationships with those uh, individuals for a long time. So, you know, I, I think they would, you know, because of friendship, come out with them, but, you know, in terms of actual uh experience and actual um, ability to do the job, that's why I'm uh, 
very proud to have the endorsements of the organizations versus uh, individuals. All right, James, I, I, I do try to be as fair as I can be in these things, so what wasn't true, James? It's not true that I've contributed to all those people who have endorsed me. They endorse me because they do not want big businesses to buy this ward. They want a reform-minded huh. person who's going to work with the community, who has a history of collaborating well with not only the community, Except for Helen but the police commanders and the our, our elected leaders. All right, and that's gonna, why they endorse me. All right, we're going to talk about uh, the business development in your ward. Lots of other questions. I've got a whole list. And, of course, we're going to take our viewers' calls at 877-358-CLTV. So keep the dial tuned. You're watching Politics Tonight only on CLTV. Stay with us.